Okay, what we got here is a, um, a PCB I bought. And uh, when I bought it, it was one version and it had something wrong with it. Um, this is a Gauntlet uh, Legends board. Uh, that is the Vegas 777, which for some reason is highly desirable. I don't really know. There's another game that was never released by Midway. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name. It's some kind of fighting game um, that never got released that I guess you can use this board for. Um, anyways, I bought an upgrade kit from uh, a friend of mine that makes these uh, flash drives. The boot ROM and the security chip to upgrade to Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Um, I sent them the board because when I got it, um, I was getting a bunch of errors on different things. Um, so what he did is burn me obviously are this, this, and this. And then uh, that will incorporate upgrading the game to Dark Legacy. So I haven't tested it yet. Um, he said it worked. I trust him. I, I, I've sent him many things to do. But um, I think he reflowed a couple of the uh, solder connections somewhere on the board, which I'm incapable of doing. I wish I could do that stuff, but um, I'm just not... I'm not technically inclined to do that. So um, the way I have this wired up is I have my, you know, the VGA, CGA, all that, that whole deal right here. And instead of using an old school monitor like that, uh, which I could plug in this and use, I just, for, for space, I just use an old Dell uh, VGA monitor. Um, I got a couple of speakers under here. You guys have seen this before. Um, so that's plugged into the board. And then the power for the hard drive is supplied via another uh, power supply over here. Um, I guess I could figure out a way to do it from here. You know, find one of these cables over here that comes out of this power supply and, you know, do all that. But just to make it easy and test this board, I'm just going to do it this way. So let's turn it on and see if it works. I'm sure it does, but um, haven't tested it. It just showed up in the mail. Turn on the monitor. And then we'll turn on the one power supply for the board and then the second power supply for the hard drive. Well, as you can see, it works, so that's pretty good. I'm a big fan of this game. I have a bunch of artwork that I had from a couple of dedicated cabinets back here that's uh, fairly rare. Um, it's just the problem with this cabinet is just so large that um, for space requirements, it's a three-player panel, but it's the, the cabinet is just tremendously tall. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a way to maybe put this set up in this. And that way I can have a little smaller version of it. Um, this game also uses 49-way joysticks. Let's uh, shut this down here. This game uses 49-way joysticks. Um, so there is a dip switch on here somewhere. I can't... Uh, right in here somewhere where you go to the 8-ways, which is a standard 8-way. But really for this game, it just doesn't work that well. Um, I do have all the components, including the original JAMA harness for this game. So I'm going to try to... At some point in time, I'm going to get some time to reincorporate all this stuff into this mini bar top. Um, and that way I can use it for something. So that's going to be something I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to, uh, to do here soon. But uh, as time comes and time goes, it seems to go faster than it comes. So that might be something I'll do here very soon. Um, if not, I'll just keep on putting it on the back burner like this thing's been on for the last two years. So that's about it. Really haven't gotten much else arcade-wise uh, in, in a while. I still got all my testing boards over here that I use. I showed last time. Um, so that's really it. Thanks for watching.